Hey guys, it's Catherine Ross here from BreakFreeWithEFT.com and today I wanted to do a really massive shout out to all the business owners out there doing it tough, having to live through incredibly uncertain and fearful times right now. So obviously myself, I'm a business owner. I'm incredibly lucky because in my line of work, uh, I think that it's needed more than ever, which is, is an upside and a plus because I get to help more people through their stress. However, for a lot of people out there, they've been laid off. They have nowhere to go. They've had to close down. And I know firsthand because my partner is one of them. He, the other night, had to close his bar uh, in Melbourne for the last time. And it's an incredibly sad situation because he has literally invested everything into this place. He has given up his time along with his business partners. Um, you know, they've put an immense amount of effort into this beautiful little spot that unfortunately had to close the other night. And I just want to give a real shout out to everybody who is having difficulty right now coping with this situation. And I'd like to help you through it. So if you tune into that feeling of fear and of lack, I want you to rate the intensity of it out of 10 and just tap along with me, thinking about every way that this is affecting you right now. Even though I have all this fear and stress and I just don't know where to turn. I love and accept myself and I'm safe. Even though these are such uncertain times. And I've got a lot of fear and stress going on right now. I choose to be calm and focus on what I can control. And I know that right now I am safe in this moment. All this fear and worry. I don't know what to do. My immediate future looks pretty bleak. And I'm really defeated right now. All this fear around my future. All this fear for my business. All of these what ifs. All this fear over making ends meet. All this fear of lack. All this fear of not enough. What if there's not enough work? What if there's not enough clients? What if there's not enough money? All this fear right now. Can't control what's going on. All of this fear around my situation. This panic and stress. All of this anxiety and worry. Everywhere I turn, there seems to be lack. I can't even get my normal grocery shop. What if I don't end up having enough money? What if I have to close down? All this stress over giving up my dream. Release and let it go. I choose to feel safe right now. And when I can't control what's going on, I know that I can control my reaction to it. 
I'm choosing to release all of this fear right now. Because I can't pay my bills with fear. My creditors are not going to accept my anxiety as payment. I choose to understand so many of us are in the same boat. And I choose to take great comfort in that. I wonder if there is a different way I can look at this. All of this fear, panic and worry. Release and let it go. Things are not going to change the more stressed I am. I'm simply wasting my energy. I'm choosing to direct my energy into more resourceful things. I'm choosing to think more laterally now. And I choose to get really creative about this. I'm choosing to get out of my own way right now. Releasing this fear and stress from every cell in my body. Knowing that we are all in this together. I am choosing to support myself through this. And in doing so, I will I allow others to support me too. Releasing whatever is out of my control right now. And I'm giving myself the space to be and breathe. I am deeply safe right now in this moment. Okay, deep breath in and out. <sighs> okay, and tune back into that feeling, that initial feeling of the fear, the panic, the worry and stress and anxiety and re-rate it again out of 10 as to how intense it is. Obviously, we want it to be getting lower and lower and lower. So if you have nothing that you can do right now to affect what is going on in your circumstances, go within, use this opportunity to get creative, get resourceful. Think about how you can do things differently because sometimes in the darkest of days, you know, it allows us to sit with ourselves and to, you know, it's a really guilt-free experience sometimes at this moment uh, that we've been given to be able to sit and be and think and just tap within literally uh, ourselves to come up with new ways to help bring the world into a greater state of consciousness so it doesn't matter what industry that you are in um, this might just be a blessing in disguise so I say that with the utmost compassion for everybody who was going through or is affected by this situation as I said I'm directly affected myself with my partner so I totally get it but this is also an opportunity for him to look at things differently and when I think about it we've not even spent as much time together as we would have liked to so when you're working six days a week you don't get much time as a family so for me I'm seeing this as an opportunity to connect with him to be able to spend time as a family to think about how we can do things differently and I really hope that uh, that you to, you um, can adopt that as well all right so my thoughts are with you guys and if you need anything please feel free to reach out uh, my website is breakfreewitheft.com and there are some resources on there as well, some low-cost ones. So if you want any help, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, stay safe, stay indoors and, um, and stay creative as well. Get creative, get resourceful. Think about how you can actually benefit yourself and the world in a different way. All right, bye for now.